So hello guys, welcome back to my channel Sarthak Commerce Wala. Within this video, I will be going to discuss the most important topics of corporate accounting as there were a lot of students who were demanding within my comment box that when you will be making a video on corporate accounting because it is totally a practical based subject. So I understand your point. Uh, hope so. I will be able to deliver at the right time. A little bit late, but more or less, don't worry. Even you can prepare if you take guidance from my video. First of all, I want to tell you all that this is one stop video for your preparation of corporate accounting exam. So whatever I'm going to tell within this video, I'm going to tell you from the structure that in which structure you need to study your corporate accounting slavers. Along with that, I'm going to tell you sectional wise important topics with due respect to theoretical topics and practical topics. And along with that, I'm going to tell you the series of units in which you can take up the units and start your studying within corporate accounting. So within this video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial that how you need to take your corporate accounting and how you can score decent marks and even more than decent within your corporate accounting. See, when I was evaluating your past year question papers and even when I was seeing your slavers, I think even corporate accounting is very simple subject. But you just need to study it from a structure. And you can say from one step to another step. Don't just see the whole slavers and try to put yourself within a terrible position and think about the results that, oh, the slavers is so wide, what I will be going to do within my corporate accounting exam. No, just make yourself a little bit calm and composed and take the guidance from this video. And I think it will definitely help you even during your preparation and within your exam. So I'm not telling within a condescending manner that it is a one stop video, but I think it will be the best video for you to do preparation for the corporate accounting. So let's start from the video. So see, first of all, I'm going to tell you that in which series you need to start your studies unit wise. So first of all, you need to start from unit one. From unit one, you can get theoretical plus practical both types of questions. So within theory topics, you need to do right shares, bonus shares, buyback of shares and some accounting standards among which accounting standard 17 is the most important one. Actually, this accounting standard is also there within unit five in terms of segment reporting because it tells us about segment reporting. So therefore, even I wrote it here and along with that, I wrote it within unit five as well. So within theory portion, you need to do every theory which is there within unit first. See, now you all students cannot expect from me that without doing that much studies, which you all are expected to do from your side, you need to do every theoretical topic and just don't take a chance with any theory topic because theory is very few within corporate accounting, but it is the only marks gainer for all those students who are very poor at the practical portion of corporate accounting. Okay, so initially you need to make your theoretical topic strong and whatever theory I am telling you within this video, you need to cover that absolutely for 120%. Okay, so from unit one within theory topics, right share, do all the condition, meaning and everything. Right shares, bonus shares, buyback of shares and accounting standard 17. Now, if I tell you from the practical perspective from unit first, so what can be the topics which are the most important topics? So first, general entries of issue and redemption of debentures. Generally, I saw a trend within your past year question papers of corporate accounting that general entries on issue and redemption of debentures specifically came a lot frequently. So please don't leave it from unit first and along with that general entries for preference shares as well. And the second practical portion which you cannot leave from unit first that is underwriting of shares and debentures. And I think all the commerce students had studied it even within their maybe class 11th or class 12th within the accounting for share capital book. So this contains very few general entries. So it is a very easy topic. So I think if you cover this much within unit first, you are able to achieve full out of full marks. Uh, whatever weightage unit first topics will be going to come within your exam. Okay. Now, as you complete your unit first, then you have to take on unit five, which means after completing unit first, you need to start unit five and unit five is a totally theoretical unit. So it is comparatively more easy as compared to unit two, three and four. So first take unit first and then take unit five. Now unit five is a marks gainer. So from unit five, you need to cover every theoretical topic annual report and its content. It actually came within your past year question paper. Segment reporting as per accounting standard 17. It is very important. Sustainability reporting, triple bottom line reporting and CSR reporting. All these five types of reporting almost are very important and any one or any two of them can come either in the form of short note or in the form of a specific question. So don't leave even a pinch of any topic from unit five. 
so it is advice from my side and it is a piece of advice or you can say recommendation so if you want to follow it then you can and if you don't want to score passing marks so don't follow it with due respect to you all now first of all take on unit first then unit 5 so now step by step you complete it two units okay and now i think you are feeling that it is not that much hard i uh, it is not that much hard uh, as i was thinking within my mind yeah so actually it is not hard it is very easy corporate accounting is easy if you take the units step by step so first do unit 1 then do unit 5 then after that jump onto unit 3 so unit 3 is mostly a practical based unit and from unit 3 whatever selective topics i wrote here only do that don't try to go on any other topic until or unless you were studying from your initial semester like you are a kind of student who was studying from day first of semester second then please don't follow my advice or recommendation then do everything because you are a kind of topper student okay but if you want to take any advice from this video i am just going to tell some of the most important topics which you all students will be going to get within your corporate accounting exam so from unit 3 first valuation of goodwill and from all methods don't try to leave even a single method if i tell you about the most important one so average profit method super profit and weighted average profit methods are more important apart from that i'm recommending do valuation of goodwill from all the methods second eva economic value added it is one of the most important topic which came quite frequently within your past year question papers of corporate accounting so don't try to leave it and third valuation of shares from yield value method and intrinsic value method and even sometimes there were some questions within your past year question papers where you need to find out value of shares from fair value method as well so i'm just recommending you and insisting you that please don't leave all these three topics because then you are just doing nothing from unit three if you are leaving any single topic from whatever whatever i just mentioned within the video okay so don't try to leave a single topic and there are lots of topics which i don't write here because i only wrote the most selective and the most important ones by which the burden of your studies can be a little bit downgraded from myself okay now after that actually when you completed your unit first unit five or unit three then i mistakenly wrote here unit four but you need to go on to your unit two okay so unit two is also a very simple and marks gainer unit because it is going to come about a very heavy weight weightage of marks within your exam so don't try to leave it because the topics which are there within your unit 2 and which i selected on the basis of my evaluation all these topics you had studied before and there are some topics which are new and that topics are actually small so within from unit 2 preparation of financial statement is going to come where you need to make pnl account and balance sheet and there are some adjustments which are going to come and even you did this type of question in your 11th and 12th class both okay so i don't think so this is very problematic for all the commerce students but you need to study it because you are studying within the graduation level so you cannot expect that you will get a question on the basis of your 11th class or 12th class then second cash flow statement please tell me within the comment box how many of you know how to make cash flow statement as per accounting standard 3 so we all knew that there was a book within our class 12th and there was a separate book in which we had a chapter of cash flow statement and it was a little bit difficult to match the cash flow statement at the end but it is it is actually a very easy chapter and even i found it very easy when i was in my 12th class because i practiced a lot of questions so i think you all students are familiar with this topic as well so just look at look both the topics and i'm just guaranteeing you that both the topics will be coming within your exam either in the form of choice or a separate question and third it is a very 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 important topic and very very easy so don't leave it calculation of earning per share very easy okay so please don't try to leave any three any one of them among all these three topics which i mentioned here from unit two so now you are feeling a bit comfy yeah i'm correct because if you see when i tell you all the things unit by unit and when i'm discussing some of the most selective topics which absolutely will be coming within your corporate accounting exam you are feeling a little bit comfortable why you are feeling like this because i give you that insurity that these topics are actually going to come and therefore i always tell you that please try to share my videos as to more and more students as much as you can because even your friends may be in a very terrible situation because of this particular uh, exam or subject you can say so please try to share it as more as you can okay so unit first is done unit fifth is done then unit third is done then unit second is done see now i will tell you that if you completed all these four units uh, whatever time you have for your exams so it is more than enough to pass your exam and even score a decent sgpa within your corporate accounting exam now why i am saying that because unit four is a very 
difficult and you can say rigorous within a manner that it needs a lot of practice and therefore i am just giving you an advice that if you completed all these remaining four units which i tell within my video within a particular series then it is more than enough for passing your exam of corporate accounting and even scoring six seven or maybe eight cgpa sgp as well within the selective paper but if you want that please tell bhaiya what are the important topics even within unit four so i just wrote some very selective i don't write those topics which will be going to come of course see a question on amalgamation and a question on internal reconstruction will be absolutely there within your corporate accounting exam but you need to understand one thing that these topics are not easy to deal with and even you need a lot of practice so don't try to jump on unit four initially and it is a warning or a red alert from my side so just take unit four at last and if you don't have enough time don't try to take it just leave it don't try to ruin your other units because of unit four but because i have taken the responsibility so now i'm going to discuss that unit as well so from unit four i know that i don't want to make things very much complicated for you all students because you are my almost like a second family so i wrote a very simple topics here from unit four which you all can do and i know you all are capable to do this much topics okay so first is as 14 accounting standard 14 and second is general entries for internal reconstruction i just wrote the most simplest topics of this unit four because i'm expecting that this much at least you can do from unit four and even if you have time then do it i had already given you the assurance that don't take any kind of worry if you are not doing unit 4 don't take any kind of problem and don't think that it will become a hindrance uh, for pass your corporate accounting exam not at all if you do unit 1st unit 5th unit 3rd and unit 2 as per given guidance which i gave within this video then you are going to pass your exam and even score more than 60% or 70% marks within your exam easily okay just you need to do hard work from your side and stay focused and don't try to overthink about the topics that if it will take this much time so how i will be able to complete my slavers or whatever bhaiya told me till the exam date everything is possible and everything can be done if you don't panic and just do the hard work so i i said it a lot of times that calmness and composure is the key to reach to a point and to achieve that thing which you were thinking that you are not able to achieve it of course hard work is always there but your calmness and composure is always required to enlighten that hard work in terms of your execution okay so this is from my side for your corporate accounting subject and i think i had covered all the aspects within this video don't worry about the exam you all will be going to pass just do a cheerful comment within the comment box and please share this video because there are various students who are in trouble and who are feeling like this that they are in a trap of corporate accounting so don't make it a very big hype this exam is very easy okay so thank you so much for watching bye bye <laughs>